Okay, before we actually get started on the math, let's kind of review our vocab, because just like yesterday, the math is easy. The operations we do are basic, right? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. But you have to understand and know the vocab. So let's start with an inscribed angle. Who can remind us what an inscribed angle is? Adrian? An angle whose vertex lies on a circle and whose sides contain four Okay, so Adrian just gave us a full definition. What you really need to know is that the vertex of the angle is on the circle. So in this case, is this angle an inscribed angle? Yeah. Yeah. The vertex is on the circle. So yes, this is an inscribed angle. So if it's an inscribed angle, we need to name that angle. Can someone name that angle? CBD works. We also need to name its intercepted arc. Well, what is an in what is an intercepted arc? Okay, so CD is our intercepted arc. Someone know the definition of it? An intercepted arc. The arc that the inscribed angle creates. That is our normal layman's terms vocab. Okay, it's not our fancy vocab, but it works perfectly. It is the arc that your inscribed angle makes. Is number two an inscribed angle? So no. two people think no and everyone else thinks what? No, it's not. No, it's not. So that's three people. It is not an inscribed angle. How come? The vertex is not on the circle. Is it a central angle? No. No, why not? The vertex isn't in the middle. The vertex isn't in the center. Definition of a central angle is the vertex is in the center. So this isn't either of them. Okay, yesterday we dealt with central angles. Today we're going to look at inscribed angles. What? Okay. All right. There was a formula that I gave you for inscribed angles. Who remembers or can tell me what that formula is <coughs> for inscribed angles? Mm -hmm. It has a half in it. So I'm going to write it in words. The inscribed angle is half of the intercepted arc. So I'm just going to write arc. The inscribed angle is half of whatever the arc is that it creates. Now yesterday we took some time and really like outlined our um, angles and arcs. We need to do the same thing today, okay? Because as we start adding more lines, like in number five, it can get confusing if you don't see the angle and the arc that it's creating. So in number three, everyone sees what I'm solving for? Right, this angle here, angle VXW. I'm going to take the sides of that angle and extend them out because that easily shows me what arc it creates. So I extended those angle, those lines out so I could see the arc that it creates. The 180. The 128. The 128, yeah. So by definition, it says the inscribed angle is half of the arc. So half of 128 is 64. Okay, so the angle is half of the arc. So if we know what the arc is and we're trying to find what the angle is, we are going to divide by 2. If you don't know what the arc is, but you know what the angle is, you would multiply by two. So, for instance, on number four, I am looking for QRS. That's this arc here. Now, if I go where my arc is and extend out those lines, I can see which angle creates that arc. So, I did my arc, 
And then I extended those lines through to see what angle I have. So here I have the angle, but I want to know what the arc is. And someone just said, what did we do with it? Multiply, Multiply by 2. So what's the measure of that arc? 202. 202. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> okay, I want you to try number... I want you to try 5 and 6. So... Figure out what you need to solve for and then extend the lines that you need to extend and see if you can come up with what the question mark is for each of them. Work with your group if you need to. Okay, so I need this arc right here, right? From the ends of that arc, I'm going to extend through those lines to see if it gives me the angle I need. Does it? Yeah. So to go from arc... Wait, 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 I have a question. Okay. How do you know you're not supposed to go for S? How do you know you're not supposed to do the diagonal line? Okay, so I know the arc, right? That's what I'm looking for. Do you agree with that? From the end of the arc, you're just going to go down to the angle. From the end of the arc, go down to the angle. Are you talking about this line here? Yeah, no, 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 diagonal. This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, Why'd you pick that one? Because it went to the because it went to the angle. It should create like you should have like a closed in space for it. If I go over here, then that doesn't help me with anything. Okay. So to go from arc or from angle to arc, what do I do? Do I multiply or divide? Multiply by two which means my question mark is 106. Okay, here I know the angle. So I'm going to extend the lines of the angle, and I see that those lines create the arc that I need. Right? So to go from angle to arc, what do I do? Multiply by 2 giving you 62. Okay. All right, let's actually solve for x. It's still not difficult, but it's going to take us a little more work than just multiplying and dividing. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I gave you a definition or a formula that says that the angle, the inscribed angle, is half of the arc, right? Do I know the inscribed angle? Yeah. What is it? 6x plus 10. Okay, I know it's 6x plus 10. Agreed? That angle creates arc QP. Definition says, or formula says, the angle is half of what the arc is. So here's where you get to use your algebra skills. Now you have a couple options. Right off the bat, what do you think you're going to do? Okay, that was a lot. Distributive property. Okay, so let's stop for a second. Distributive property. You can't, hold on. You can absolutely use the distributive property. If you distribute in one half, though, you're going to deal with decimals and fractions. Do you want to do that? No. no. Okay, so instead of distributing, do we have another option? Yes. Multiply by 2. Which is called multiplying by the? Reciprocal. Very good. Now, if I multiply by the reciprocal, I need to make sure that I multiply everything on the other side by 2. This is the part where people will mess up. You have to distribute, you have to multiply by everything on the other side. So when I distribute that in, I get 12x plus 20, 20 equals, those go away, 15x minus 10. You can solve this algebra problem, yeah? 
Subtract 12, okay? No, 5. What? What? 5? I mean 15x. Okay, well, I'm going to do 12 first. So 20 equals 3x minus 10. From here, I would add 10 to both sides. And then when you divide by 3, you end up with x equals 10. All I'm asked to do is solve for x. If you're asked to find an angle or an arc, you would plug it back in. It depends. So sometimes it'll ask you for an angle, sometimes it'll ask you for the arc. Huh? Oh, okay. All right, are we okay with seven? I would like you to try number nine. So you do number nine. Let's do it. All right, your formula should be 4x plus 22 equals 1 half 11x plus 8. The angle is half of the arc. Again, I don't want to distribute because I'll deal with decimals and fractions, so I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So 8x plus 44 equals 11x plus 8. Um, 44 equals 3x plus 8. 36 equals 3x. x equals 12. Okay. Huh? Yeah. So what is your original equation? So you have 11x plus 8 equals half of 4x plus 22? Okay, so it has to be the angle equals half of the arc. You have it backwards. So the angle equals half of the arc. Okay, let's look at number 8 real quick, because that one's not as straightforward, right? So we need to solve for x, and we know that that's this arc here, right? Do you agree with that? Okay, now let's watch. If I extend these to find the angle... I don't have any information on the angle there, correct? Right. I'm right, so I can't use that. But do you see another angle? Yeah. Everyone see that 30? Yeah. Okay, so let me extend those lines real quick. And you should notice that it creates arc HP, right? Could I find arc HP if I know that this angle is 30? Yes. What would it be? 60, because you'd multiply by 2. Now I want you to look at that real quick. Who sees a semicircle? Okay, so one more time. I looked at this arc, which is what I need to solve for, because I need x, and I saw that there is no angle that matches up with it. So I used the angle that I do have to find the arc that I can find. Now that information's on the circle, I'm going to look and see if there's anything that I should look for. Look for semicircles and full circles always. Here is a semicircle. Both of these arcs will equal 180. So 59x plus 2 plus 60 equals 180. Fifty nine x plus sixty two equals one eighty. Subtract sixty two and then divide by fifty nine.
Okay. So use the information that you can to either create semicircles and circles if you need to. Now number 10 is just like number 9, except what's this slight difference? You have to plug it back in. They want to know what FE is. So we're not going to do that one. We're going to do number 11. Okay, well, if you did number 10, fabulous. I want you to see if you can come up with, either by yourself or with your group, how to solve for X first and then plug it back into XY for number 11. Don't think too hard. Kaylee, what do you think we need to do? You have every single piece of that circle. I just put they equal each other. So 13x minus 11 plus 12x plus 9x minus 3 equals 360. I know every single piece of that circle. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So 13 plus 12 plus 9 gives me 34x. Negative 11 minus 3 is a minus 14 equals 360. 34x equals 374. And if you divide by 34, you end up with x equals 11, which is great, but not what you're asked to find. Just this arc here is all you need to know. So 13 times 11 minus 11 is 132. Yes, Lauren. Okay, what did you do? Since 13x minus 11 and 12x are vertical angles, if you yeah. extend their lines, they're Where do you see that they're vertical angles, though? If you go from the top and go down. Oh, I guess it's like. I don't see the vertical angles. So I think like maybe you got it lucky down. here. Okay, so I would say you guys got lucky on this one because they're not vertical angles. Something else you could have done. Um... Ooh, that would have been real bad. You can technically find this angle here because you can divide this by 2 and then set them equal, but that kind of gets yucky, so I don't know that I would do that. This one's a whole lot easier. Okay, questions, comments, concerns? Yeah. How did I find XY? I just took 11 and plugged it back in. Yep, you take 11 and plug it back into what it's asking you to find. If that's what it asks you to do. Mm -hmm. So you plug it back in. Huh?